I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and taking keen interest. It is because of you that this channel has grown and now we have more than 200,000 subscribers watching about 20,000 videos from more than 80 countries. I'm really thankful to you. It's my honor to offer summer classes during this tough time. We'll actually follow Ontario curriculum. All those who are interested can write an email to me on the address given. We'll have individual or group classes. Groups are going to be very small for students. That is what it is. During the summer, I'm going to teach students from junior classes to middle school and to high school. So I say grade 2 to grade 12. You can contact me on the email address given here for all the details. The screen shows the subjects which I am going to teach. Junior math, that is up to grade 5, and then middle school, 6, 7, and 8. We have special plans for IB students and GCSE math students. One of the most popular program is going to be Algebra 1. I'm writing here grade 9, but even middle school students can join this plan. So Algebra 1, which is for grade 9, grade 7 and 8 students can join, learn in advance. I'm saying get prepared for September. Summer is a good time to get prepared. Grade 10 students normally study quadratic functions, will extensively look into many examples which are important to understand. Let me also highlight that during this curriculum, we'll do at least 1,000 examples. That will ensure that you have some basic level to move forward. And from here onwards, you can score very good marks in mathematics. Trigonometry. I'm actually writing a book on trigonometry. So I will deal trigonometry in greater details. I've divided this into two sections. Trigonometry foundation, where we'll do uh, math level up to grade 10 or 11, and then we'll take up trigonometry of compound angle, which is normally done in grade 11 and 12. We'll go into details of these curriculums also. Functions, grade 11 level, and advanced functions, grade 12. Data management, grade 12. Calculus 1, which is for grade 12 students, and vectors is also for grade 12 students. I'll also provide you some examples and help in competing for many examinations like Olympia. So let's look into what do we have for our junior students. Well, everything which you see here on the screen is what we need to make our students understand when they are this level. We'll start with the numbers and then end up with probability of some complicated events. So as you can see, we'll look into the place value, patterns and attributes, geometry, multiplication, division, data management, measurements, fractions, 2D shapes, perimeter and area, 3D shapes, probability. The main idea here is to improve the communication skills of our students. We'll not only do the addition, we will see how addition is done. 
what is the mechanism of adding fractions? How do we multiply them? And how do we graphically represent? That is very important to understand at junior level. Once you get this concept, moving forward is very simple. That's the whole idea. Then we'll get to the middle school students. If you are in grade six, seven, or eight, or if you're going to these grades, you can join this particular curriculum. We are actually preparing you for high school at this level. So most of the figures which you see here, the diagrams seem to be complicated, but we'll make them very simple for you. Once again, we're going to follow the Ontario curriculum. And in case you are interested, you can send an email to me on the address given. Grade 9 students normally learn about algebra and they also deal with geometry, especially the parallel lines and the transverse lines with polygons in between, many things, right? So I just combined the screen for both grade 9 and 10 students. Well, you can always join more than one course. If you are interested, you can send an email on the address given here. Trigonometry. Now this is a very special course which I'm going to offer. I'm writing a book on trigonometric functions. The foundation level is that we'll begin with similar triangles, move on to Pythagorean theorem, and see how trigonometry evolves from these concepts. Then learn about the trigonometric ratios, look into special triangles. The special triangles are the ones which have the angle of 30, 60, 90, the right triangle, or isosceles right triangle, 45, 90, 45. The exact values can be calculated using these special triangles, and that is why they become very important for us. Right? So here are the topics which we are going to cover in trigonometry during the summer. Now, trigonometry for compound angles will be dealt in another subject, which is advanced functions. If you're interested, you can write an email and then we can discuss it further. Functions is the foundation, which is laid in grade 11 for grade 12 courses, especially advanced functions and calculus. We'll understand what functions are, how do we use functions as a function notation, inverse functions, domain and range, algebraic expressions, quadratic functions, exponential functions, trigonometric functions, sinusoidal functions, sequences and series. We'll look into arithmetic and geometric series, look into Pascal's triangle. And at the end of all these, we'll also have tests, right? And remember, we are going to do 1000 examples during the summer and if you are interested you can send an email on the address given advanced functions another grade 12 course very important as a base for calculus and these are all the topics which we are going to understand during the summer get you ready for september that's the whole idea right so so you can always contact me on this address to know what are the fees involved in all this. Now the classes are also as a quick reminder, one-on-one -on -one classes or a group class, small group of four. I'll be teaching online and we'll give you links for the Zoom classes. The calculus curriculum is something like this. So we'll begin with prerequisites, look into what is limit and how do we find limit for functions? We look into derivatives, derive many rules, get to chain rule, implicit rule, and understand in what interval do the functions increase or decrease? We'll have many applications at this particular point to cover for our thousand examples. We'll get into higher derivatives, understand concavity and point of inflection, 
take up questions based on related rate and optimization and then understand how do we do curve sketching from all we have learned and at the end we'll have examination style test for you so contact me on this particular email for all the details vectors in grade 12 is another very important course which you want to learn well in advance since in September when you have too many things in grade 12 and you're also preparing for getting into university it's kind of difficult to do all of these things so I request you once again to join and get the foundation for all these courses so that you can do extremely well in your high school. I hope it makes sense. So let me just get back to all the courses which we are offering. They're all paid courses. So uh, just send an email and then we can discuss it further. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Thanks for your time and all the best.